hey everyone welcome back so in this video we're going to work on only showing the posts of the users whom we are following so right now i'm following john doe if i unfollow him and go back to the home page you can see we are still being shown the posts of john doe we are not going to show them so on the back end we are going to run a loop to check for the users we are following and only showing their posts so here inside po api folder we have the posts.js our po api for posts so here on our get all posts route where we are sending all the posts to the front end i'm going to remove this return statement and here i'm going to first of all look for the logged user so the user who is logged in await follower model dot find one and we are going to look for the id so request dot user id and let's destructure it out it will be better because we are going to use this user id again and again user id inside the request which we, we are getting this from a middleware and the user id so after this we are going to check if posts dot length equals to zero we are going to return res dot json empty array but if post dot length is there we are going to continue working let's save so after this check i'm going to create a variable here let posts to be sent and it is going to be an empty array and here i'm going to add a return statement res dot json post to be sent and here we are going to check if logged user dot following dot length if it is equals to zero so this means that logged user is not following anyone here we are going to run a filter over the posts dot filter and we are going to check for the post the user has created the logged user so post and post dot user dot underscore id dot to string if it is equals to user id and we are going to save its value inside the posts to be sent so post to be sent is equals to the array which will this filter will return so what this basically means is if the user is not following anyone we are running a filter over the posts array these posts right here and we are checking if post dot user dot underscore id and we are uh, adding two string because it is going to be an object if, if we don't add the two string here and if it is equals to user id so this filter will return as an array of the posts this user has created the logged user and we are going to send back these posts if the user is not following anyone else i am going to add some space here else we are going to run a for loop here for and let i is equals to 0 i is less than logged user dot following dot length and i plus plus so here again we are going to run a filter loop posts dot filter post and here we are going to check if post dot user dot underscore id dot to string so again we have to convert it into a string is equals to logged user dot following and square brackets i dot user dot to string or if post dot user dot underscore id dot to string is equals to user id so what this line of code basically means is we are checking for the posts by the users who i'm following so if post dot user dot underscore id is equals to logged user dot following so if i go to the follower model the if following is an array so logged user dot following and we are adding the square brackets here and adding the i here so that the loop runs dot user so we have the user property here and it is an object id so we have to convert it into a string and we have added an or condition here or post dot user dot underscore id dot to string is equals to user id so again this is the same condition here so if no post is found in this condition it is going to the or and it is going to check if there are any posts created by the logged in user 
and we are going to save its value inside a variable const found posts. And after this, we are going to check if found posts dot length is greater than zero. So if there are any posts found, we are going to push it inside the post to be sent. So posts to be sent dot push and we are going to spread it out. So found posts. So all we are doing is checking if the found post dot length is greater than zero and we are spreading it out inside the post to be sent variable. And again, we are returning the rest.json post to be sent. So if I go to the localhost now and refresh, and now you can see I'm only being shown my own post, Jane Doe. And if I go back to the account, because I have zero following, I'm only being shown my post. So now if I go back and follow John Doe, and if I go to home, and now you can see I'm being shown the posts of John Doe too. If I go back and unfollow, again, only Jane Doe. So all we did was checking if the logged user dot following dot length is greater than zero. That means I'm following anybody or not. We are filtering over the posts and checking for the posts which I have created. So we are saving it inside the post to be sent variable. Else, that means I am following someone. We are running a for loop here. I is less than logged user dot following dot length. And again, we are running a filter over the posts and we are checking if post dot user dot underscore ID is equals to logged user dot following. Following is an array. And we are adding this square brackets and I for the element and dot user dot to string. And again, user is an object ID. That's why we added the to string here. So if this condition returns no value, we are going to go over this or condition if post dot user dot underscore id is equals to user id. This is the same condition as this one. This will basically check if there are any posts created by the logged user. And if found post dot length is greater than zero. So if this found post dot length is greater than zero, we are pushing it inside the post to be sent. And we are spreading it out because found post itself is going to be an array. So that's why we have to spread it out. I know this is a bit confusing, but you will get a hold of it once you practice it again and again. You have to check in the models again and again. So all you have to do is just keep the models in front of you and see the values which we are comparing and you will get a hold of it. I'm sure of that. So this was all for this video. In the next video, we're going to start working on the notifications. So I will see you there.